So, you know, these reoccurring theme videos that we're seeing being posted online from sisters, it seems like an epiphany is really has been happening to a lot of the sisters case in point. You have one that's going to ask you brothers to forgive her, um, for the things that, you know, her, you know, fellow sisters and even herself possibly done, uh, to offend the brothers. But let's go ahead and roll that. Dear black man, can y'all forgive us for getting it wrong? Can y'all forgive us for getting it wrong? Can y'all forgive us for, for, for being ignorant and not knowing what to do? Not knowing how to love y'all, not knowing how to support y'all, not knowing how to be there to encourage y'all, giving up on y'all. Can y'all forgive us for that? For taking and taking and, and playing mind games and, and just doing the unthinkable. Can y'all forgive us for that? Because we not perfect. We all been played. We all got to take a L. And once we all take our lick, then we'll be able to, to, to really heal. Christ has to be the center of our foundation. The issue with a lot of the men is it, not that the men have this immense hatred for um, the sisters. They really don't. The men is just more so disappointed. Um, a lot of them are upset, but it's not a hatred deal because prime example, you have a sister that's complete opposite, all those things. She's nice. She's, you know, a sweet person. Uh, she cooks, she this, I mean, we talking about decent men. We talking about no sorry men that will take advantage of those women. Cause you do have men out there that do take advantage of decent women. They, they do, and they do them wrong, do them dirty. And that, that's real foul, you know? And then you got some of them men acting like when them women leave them, Oh, now they get want sympathy. No, you didn't treat that woman right, bro. But a lot of these guys, you know, feel like they're at their wits end when it comes to dating. And, and because of today, when you have a global internet, you know, you have guys, you know, saying that when they get on Tinder, if they put a different country, they get some of the top tier women, you know, in a different country. Um, and the women are being cooperative and you know, the women have no problem cooking and cleaning and have no problem letting, you know, that man, you know, lead the situation in different parts of the world. See, the reason why all this is happening, because like I said, we have become a globalized system. That's really what it is. Also, you do have a shortage of black men in America. You do. And it's more women. Of course, that's like that all over the world, but we talk about black America, right? There is a shortage. So the decent, a lot of decent guys are taking off in the market. They really are. They still got some decent guys out there, but sometimes some of y'all don't even know how to get their attention. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying some of you don't. So I would say to the women, if you really want to get a guy and a decent guy, he haven't said nothing to you. Y'all in a position Well, y'all need to probably shoot your shot. And normally I'm not for women doing that, but realistically the position that a lot of y'all in, you're going to have to shoot your shot and you can shoot your shot in a feminine way. You don't have to be aggressive. Like no dude, you got to come across like young and may or nothing, but <laughs> you know, uh, 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 shoot your shot in a feminine way. You know, you can do that because you, some guys coming to some of y'all way is far and few in between. Um, we're talking about decent guys. Now of course, sorry guys ain't got nothing going on. Pookie and Ray Ray, whatever. There's plenty of them for you, but we talk about the decent men that a lot of y'all won't. Another thing that a lot of you have to do is go to therapy. Therapy is very, very important because therapy will help you lower those defenses and lower some of the things that you're doing to protect yourself that will not allow you to be put in a position for a man to love you and care about you, et cetera. Cause some of y'all had some good men come your way, but because your wall is up and listen, no man is no therapist. Oh, well, if he loved me, he'll, he'll help me through. No, 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 no. He, he is not trained for that. He does not have that expertise. You need someone that went to school that got an expertise and they do that for a living to deal with you and your problems. Matter of fact, you should not even be dating if you got issues. 
if you got trust issues, if you got issues from your childhood, whatever that may be. If you got emotional issues like anger or, or, or depression or whatever, you should not be dating until you are emotionally and, and mentally well, because you can't deal with a relationship. And then once you get mentally healed, then you go deal with a relationship. I say the same thing for men too. You should not be dating women unless until you mentally healed. Cause some of you got issues too. That stem from your childhood. Some of you got mama issues. Some of you do. And, and some of you so turned up on black women. It's not normal because the reason why you so turned up on black women is because a black woman reminds you of your mother. Other races of women don't remind you of your mother. So that's why you will be more, you know, lenient toward them, more forgiving, and you'll be more harsh toward the women of your own community because they remind you of your mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they say things a certain way that could remind you, trigger you in ways. Cause you know, black women have a certain way of saying things to us as black men that get our attention. It could be in a good way. It could be in an encouraging way. And it also can be in a very demeaning way. And other races of women don't know how to talk to us in that manner to get at us in that manner. And brothers, you know what I'm talking about when I say this. So you need to deal with your issues. Cause some of these guys that's online, they, you can clearly hear they got mental is health issues and they need to deal with that too. So I say both parties should not be dating until then. But unfortunately, sister, it wasn't your fault because you, I see you young. It was the generations before you that kind of put y'all in that situation with your men. So it, even though it's not y'all fault, it's going to take y'all to fix it. So I'm not saying you could fix it for everybody, but I'll say put yourself in position to get the man that you want. That's all. And you know, when you brought up, you know, uh, the Lord, that's great. But a lot of these men these days, you know, believe in God, they do, but they, they're not going to church with you. So just, just get your, get your, get your act together, you know, have some therapy if you need it be a very feminine woman. Hey, you know how to cook and you love to do that clean, etc. You want to be a family person. Hey, you stand out right then and there. Don't put all them tattoos. I mean, I think you got one or two, but don't put more tattoos on your body. Don't let every man see the crack of everything on your body. They shouldn't know the, the, how your breasts look, you know, they shouldn't know how you, nothing look, leave that to the imagination. Men will respect that a lot more as well. But brothers, let let me know what y'all think about this sister here. She she wants y'all forgiveness. So will y'all forgive her?